Good morning, Carlsbad, and welcome back to another edition of CHS TV. We have a great show planned for you guys today. To kick it off, we have a story on Dylan Smith, a Carlsbad player, a football player here at Carlsbad. Yeah, make some noise for Dylan Smith. I'm in on the Magic Windows to talk about the iPhone 13 releasing this fall, and the choir will be live with Joshua Shemar. So let's get the show started. I'm Solomon Williams. And I'm Macy Markham. And CHS TV starts right now. <laughs> morning Carlsbad and welcome back to kick off the show we're going to start it off with a story on Dylan Smith Dylan Smith and I play left tackle in all of Dylan's time playing he has some favorite parts I like doing everything but I guess like I took lifting more seriously like I guess like ninth grade I quit football after freshman season and then joined back like the end of uh, spring but like just lifting and like, taking that more seriously and Dylan's hard work has started to show not only us, but to some major news outlets. Dylan recently won the San Diego County Lineman of the Year Award, and this makes him feel a certain way. Um, just all the hard work I put in the offseason just paid off. But Dylan didn't get here on his own. Uh, Coach Schwartz's gym helped out a lot. Coach Walking Horse's gym. And then going to the stairs Sunday and Wednesdays. And then Lineman, uh, we had like a Lineman thing at Pine Fridays and Tuesdays. And Dylan has some big goals for the future. Um, just to go to the next level for free at a Division One program was awesome. Who plays good competition? Best of luck with your goals, Dylan. For CHS TV, I'm Wyatt Gora. What's up, CHS? I'm Wyatt Gora. I'm here with Dylan Smith to talk a little bit about his season. So, Dylan, how did you have a pretty good season? Can you tell me a little bit about it? Yeah, we all worked hard in the off season. It paid off because we finished number six in California and two in San Diego. Nice. And I see this award in your hand. Can you tell me a little bit about how you earned it and what it is. Um, it's offensive lineman of the year, and all my hard work paid off. Nice, I'm sure it did. And do you have any plans for the future? Uh, yes, sir. I'm going to New Mexico State University for football to continue my football career. Nice. And how do you plan on transferring your skills to the next level? Um, just keep working hard and keep preparing. And yeah. Nice. Well, best of luck in the future. Hope you have a good time at New Mexico State. And I'll send it back to the desk. Thank you, Wyatt, and congratulations, Dylan. Attention Lancers, all sports played in the new gym and the field will be live streamed. The link can be found on School Loop. CEF Student Leadership Council applications are now open. The link to apply is on School Loop, so be sure to check it out before June 1st. Summer internship opportunities are now available. They can be found on the CHS Counseling Newsletter, which is on School Loop. Now we're going to send it over to JJ on some new technology in the CHS TV studio to let you guys know exactly how it works. JJ. Hi, I'm JJ Meiser. We talk a lot on our broadcast about Lightcraft, and I want to explain exactly what that is. We have two studios in CHS TV. Most of the time, we are broadcasting live from our real studio, but we actually have a second studio, a virtual studio created by the technology called Lightcraft. Using green screen and a very powerful computer, we can build 3D environments that we can walk around in. Unlike any normal green screen where the camera cannot move, our camera can move in any direction to reveal a massive 3D set during our live broadcast. If we can imagine it, we can design and build it. CHS TV is lucky to be the only broadcast in the nation with this technology, and that's because it is still in an experimental stage. When it is released to the public, it is going to revolutionize live television and filmmaking. Reporting from Lightcraft, I'm JJ Meiser. Thank you, JJ. For anyone who excels at science, Academic Science Club is looking for members. The club meets at lunch on campus and helps students with tutoring. If you're interested, you can join the Google Classroom. Juniors, the 2021-2022 CUSD Champion Lancer applications are now open. See School Loop for the link to the application. Deadline is on May 28th. Next up on the show, we have Choir Live to discuss a fundraiser coming up. Brock, what do you have for us? Good morning, Carlsbad. I'm Brock Sarsmazen. I'm here with Choir to talk about their fundraiser that's coming up. So first off, Haley, can you tell me what's the purpose of these fundraisers? Yeah, the purpose of these fundraisers are to raise money to help us throughout the years to pay for our supplies that we need. And Lava, what are the details for the fundraiser? So the fundraiser is today at Senior Grubby's in the Village from 6 to 8 p.m. 
Okay, Carlsbad, make sure to come out to the fundraiser and support choir. Anchors, back to you. Thank you, Brock and Lancers. Be sure to support our choir program. Miracosta Biotech courses are now available to CHS students. See School Loop for the link to sign up. Semi-high Tech University virtual career exploration events are now available to sign up for online. See School Loop for the link. Taking a break on the announcements, we have Reese Heinemann on the Magic Window talking about the new iPhone releasing this fall. Reese Heinemann, what do you have for us? Good morning, Carlsbad. I'm here live on the Magic Window to talk about the new iPhone release that will be releasing in September of 2021. There will be four different releases, the iPhone 13, the Mini, the Pro, and the Pro Max. Compared to um, releases in the past, this, um, the iPhone 13 will definitely be a lot thicker and boxier, as you can see here, and potentially bigger. Lastly, here's just another example of what it could look like. As you can see here, there are four cameras instead of three or two or one. We're still looking for an official update from Apple, but until then, I'll send it back to Solomon at the desk. Thank you for the information, Reese. Carlsbad Student Leadership Academy applications are now being accepted. Check out this unique opportunity that is being offered by the city of Carlsbad and U School. Link can be found on School Loop. Now using the DeGero app, we are able to go live anywhere around the world. For today, Faye Glenn is in Oceanside on the set where the TV show Animal Kingdom is being filmed for its last season. Faye? Thank you, Macy. It's been a busy week here in Oceanside, a bit of a loud, busy morning today. They did some filming on one of the houses here down in the coastline, and now they're actually getting ready to film on the half pipe right here. A minute ago, there were some people practicing skating for some close-ups. They're going to be doing a lot of filming here in Oceanside around some of the exterior buildings for the show. It's been really cool to be down here seeing all the studio buses drive around, a couple of extras, maybe even a couple of actors. Um, really cool experience. Uh, as I said on Monday, I would be giving you some updates on release dates for season five. It looks like season five is going to be released in around summer of 2021. 2021 and season six doesn't yet have a release date because it's still obviously in filming. Um, really excited to see how these seasons turn out. Super cool down to be down here and I'll send it back to the anchors. Thank you, Faye. We're ending the show now, but we have some stuff to talk to you guys about before. So be sure to go and support our choir program today at Senior Grubbies, and be sure to keep an eye out for the new iPhone. And not only that, soccer has their first playoff game today um, at 5 o'clock uh, at Carlsbad against Central, Central High School. Um, so it should be a good game. They're in the D2 division. Um, so yeah, make sure to go check that out. Also, the iPhone 13 coming up in September. That should be cool. Uh, four cameras. Seems like they're just going to add cameras every time. Um, think you're going to get that, Macy? Definitely looks bigger, so I don't know. Yeah. My phone's already pretty big, but we'll yeah, see. Yeah, I don't know about that. <laughs> um, but that's all we have for you today, Carlsbad. Thank you. And uh, now I'll send it uh, to the closer. Thank you for watching our live broadcast today. Remember, you can follow us on social media and watch back any replays on chstv.com. Thanks again, and see you soon.